Guys, what's going on? Heath here with a review for The Real Thing. This is brand new to DVD. It's a it's an adaptation of a Japanese manga series. I believe the manga ran for six volumes. You know, like books, six six books. Uh, it's it's interesting how this has been distributed here uh, in America. Uh, this is being distributed by Film Movement. I believe in Japan this was presented as one four-hour movie. But for us, maybe for other markets as well, it's been uh, sort of segmented into ten episodes. Um, you know, like TV-ready episodes. So I th that's how I've watched it. I did watch all ten episodes. All ten episodes are presented on two two discs. Uh, I really liked it. It frustrates me, even though I, I finished it now. I'm still frustrated at it. But not because it's not good. It's actually masterfully done. This is directed by Fukada. Um, screenplay by Shintaro Mitani. Koji Fukada, directed by Koji Fukada. High pedigree behind this. Koji Fukada is a big, a big name in Japanese filmmaking. Um, it's frustrating because the re it's so real and the relationships are so... Uh, it's, it's a very intense kind of a thing. I'll try to be... Try to do justice to kind of what it's about. So... Um, so this is our basically he's our main character. This is Win Morisaki, who people may know from Ready Player One, the the film version Ready Player One. He was also uh, one of in one of the Common Rider series. Um, he's a button down executive guy. He's working in a he works for a toy company. Very routine. He's got a couple of different relationships going on. He's got like his main thing. He's got his side piece. He's got a lot going on. Um, but he's not happy, right? And then he meets this girl. He actually rescues her on the train tracks in, in episode one. Um, and she is a hot mess. And uh, you get into... And, and of course, because she's a hot mess, like he's got the... He has the urge to help her. It gets into this whole... Like she makes him feel alive, but she's got her a whole... Like a, it's not the ma the magic pixie girl thing. It's not that. It's something completely different. Like she's very damaged. She's got a ton of baggage. She's got this real darkness. Um, and for most of the series, for most, I'm going to talk about it like it's a series because that's how I watched it. She's very like head down, you know, um, very, she, she's, you know, certain actresses have that ability to really convey pain like all the time. Natalie Portman is one of those that I'm she's like, she, you feel Natalie Portman's pain, right? You're like, oh, Natalie. Same kind of thing here. It just really latches, gets the sympathy hooks in you, you know. Um, but when she smiles and she's happy, it's you like, oh, you totally get it. Like she's so warm, and I like, I'm a man, right? I get it. I'm like, oh my goodness, it's so well done. Uh, it really taps into the whole like how certain relationships can work, but it's complicated because. Um, <sighs> There's just a lot going on as far as like cultural stuff and then other people who feel like they have to be with other people because it's the honorable thing to do and like this person is going to commit suicide if I'm not with them. So there's a lot of manipulation involved. See, it's not funny. There's no comedy. It's not a fantasy. It's a very straightforward, very serious relationship drama. But I think a lot of us maybe can relate to it or at least know someone who's been sort of in this sort of a position before. Um, it's good to great. Uh, it, it does frustrate me because of certain elements. I'm just like, well, that's not healthy at all. No. But then again, how many relationships are truly healthy, you know? So uh, the real thing, this is going to appeal, you know, it's not probably going to appeal to the, the Shaman King audience or the Naruto audience, but for people who like you know, more mature storytelling. And I don't mean mature in the terms of like, you know, oh, there's just nudity all over there. Actually, I don't think there's any nudity in this. Uh, but it's very complex. It's very adult in its themes, the way that it approaches these subjects. We're dealing with people who are about 30 and are not happy and are looking to find how to be happy, which maybe some of us can relate to, you know? That's, that's, that's life. Um, so this is going to appeal to the people who really like 
you know, film, people who call film, film, people who pay attention to what's going on at con, right? And uh, I mean, I, I like that. I, I, that. That's me. That's part of, I, I am the audience here. I loved, watched all 10 episodes. I, I really, I wanted to say I loved it. I, my, I have an emotional response to it. I really, I did enjoy is not the right word. It's, uh, it, but I really went through something with this series and I was compelled. The, it, the Yakuza gets involved. I mean, it goes to some really interesting places, but it's not an action series. It's certainly not a comedy. It's not a fantasy. It's a very realistic relationship drama set in modern Japan uh, that spans a kind of a long period of time and uh, it has moments of real beauty in it. So The Real Thing is available now from Film Movement and uh, you know what I'll put a link in the description of this video where you can pick this up if you're interested. Um, if you have seen this I'm really curious what you think about it. Uh, I would love to see more stuff like this. These uh, you know Japanese um, series or films being presented to an American audience because this is not, it's not anime, right? It's not easy escapism. It's not Sailor Moon. This is something altogether different and I want more stuff like this. So the real thing available now, guys, thanks so much. Take care and until next time, I will catch you later.